Okay, we're going to talk about this particular motor here, 7.5 horsepower, 240 volt DC motor. Okay, and there's the motor. And over here is the specs on the motor that I was just able to record. You've got a armature resistance of 1.9 ohm. We've got two fields that put in series, 230 ohms total, and a full load current of 26.5 amps. Okay, set this down here. Okay, now we look at this, put those values back in, and we're going to go through and calculate, we'll calculate the mocked rotor current. Okay. Calculate the locked rotor current. We've got 240 volts divided by 230 ohms for the shunt field. 240 mm -hmm. volts divided by 1.9 ohms. Okay. And we're looking at about 127 amps locked rotor current. 1.043 plus 1.263. Yes. Now you said the locked rotor current is the same thing as inrush current? That's your inrush current at the very, it's the amount of current that will inrush into it until start. it starts turning. Once, it, the moment it starts turning, you'll have some counter EMF develop. Okay? You'll have some counter EMF develop and that current will start going down. Okay? Now, we want to calculate what the counter EMF is. Okay? We'll look at the effective voltage that's applied to the armature there, 26.5 amps, times our 1.9 ohms. Okay. We have an effective voltage of 50.35 volts. Okay. That's going to mean there's something else being generated in here to prevent that, two, that full 240 volt drop across there. That's our counter EMF. So counter EMF is equal to the applied voltage minus our effective, which is 240 volts, minus our 50.35, gets us 189.65 volts. 189.7 volts there. Okay? Now, I talked about the counter EMF as being important in speed regulation. What happens if I put a a load on that motor. If I put a load on the motor, okay, it slows down, right? It slows down. The RPM goes down. If the RPM goes down, what happens to the counter EMF? It goes down. If the counter EMF goes down, what happens to my uh, applied voltage? It gets smaller. The counter EMF goes down, the applied voltage or the effective, I'm sorry, not the applied voltage. The applied voltage stays the same. The effective voltage goes up. Okay? If I rewrite this equation, The effective is equal to the applied minus, minus your counter EMF. Your effective voltage is your applied minus your counter EMF voltage. So, if, the, if we put a heavier load on here, the counter EMF goes down because the R, RPM slows down, right? Yes. RPM goes down, counter EMF goes down, if that goes down, what happens to our effective voltage? It goes up. Okay? If the effective voltage goes up, what happens to the current then? It goes up. It goes up. Okay? The counter EMF is why you can have a motor rotating at no load and then handle and keep rotating and handling the RPM and the load increase, and you'll see the, the amps increase as you keep increasing and putting more and more torque on this motor. Okay.